Hi, I'm Dr. Doug. I'm a wellness coach, fitness trainer. Please subscribe to my channel. It really helps with the visibility of my videos. Today I'd like to talk about stroke. Yeah. Very dangerous, very dangerous situation. We have two causes of it. I'm going to go into those in detail. <clears throat> A stroke means a bleeding in the brain. Now, the brain requires lots and lots of blood. More blood than any organ in your body. And those brain cells need nourishment all the time. They need the oxygen and they need the nutrition that blood carries to these cells. When something happens to create a bleeding in a blood vessel, brain, guess what happens downstream? Yeah, that's right. Those cells don't get nourished. And they start to die. And this causes serious problems. Paralysis in some form or other. And eventual death. So, <clears throat> it's something to be avoided. Now, there are two types, two, let's say, causes stroke. One is excess yang and the other is excess yin. Yang, of course, is energy, heat, movement. Yin is substance and material. Let me explain both of these now. Heat rising. Heat rises, doesn't it? And when it rises, really quickly, suddenly, it can go into the brain and cause a capillary to rupture. Just go like that. Well, and of course, when that capillary isn't conducting blood to cells downstream, guess what happens to those cells, those brain cells? They die. Yeah. What is the usual cause of this heat rising suddenly, anger happens in angry people, people who carry around anger, who are always blowing their stacks, right? In Chinese medicine, we call this liver fire. This is the most common cause of the stroke in um, most adults. <clears throat> so what these people need to do is establish calm. Need to be calm. A lot of this anger has to do with childhood injuries. They need to get up with a counselor, go back into their childhood, and figure out uh, why they're afraid. Because anger is all about fear, isn't it? Fear generates generates anger. And in five element theory in Chinese medicine, of course, water gives rise to wood, liver fire. So, gotta learn to get calm. Lots of interesting uh, methods of getting calm because I am calm. I don't flash off into anger quite occasionally. And then only at, at a pen that isn't working. But I don't get furious very often. I'll teach you how. I'll teach you how to stop that. You don't need it. The second cause is yin, stuff material, anything that gets caught in the bloodstream and gets sent to the brain. And of course, once it reaches <clears throat> a small capillary, it gets blocked. Ugh, can't go any further. And it causes bleeding. And that bleeding, of course, means that cells downstream are not getting nourished. What's the cause of this yin obstruction, this material that floats in the bloodstream. Well, a lot of it has to do with excess body fat. If you have too much material on your body, things get crowded. Cholesterol builds up in the blood. That can break off. Anything can break off. If there's too much material on a body, we've got a material problem. We've got a yin problem. In excess problem. 
So I would recommend if you have a stroke, stroke history in your family and it's caused by what happened to someone who is overweight, you better get lean. You better get lean and I'll tell you how. I'll show you how. Get lean and you stay lean. Don't change what you eat. Do not change what you eat. Just change the amount that you eat. So that's stroke. Those are the two main causes. Now, <clears throat> once it's happened, it's very hard to bring people back. We have scalp acupuncture. Every licensed acupuncturist studies this. It's required in our curriculum. But it has to be done ASAP. The sooner you get that happening, the sooner this scalp acupuncture uh, happens, the better the results. I know personally treating people. And if you wait a long time, the results are very minimal because the brain cells have died. You want to minimize that brain cell death by getting there right away. You know, they should, every hospital, every emergency room should have an acupuncturist on staff. They don't. They should. But even a day or two later, you can get good results of a scalp acupuncture. Wow, well that's all I have on strokes. They're dangerous, don't let it go. Prevention is worth a pound, what, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So, you need any more information on this, uh, go to my website, I'll have to talk to you about it. This is Dr. Doug for Body Trust. Do not forget to subscribe. See you next time.